Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review these EVE 3.2 volt, 280 amp hour cells that I got from batteryhookup.com. Uh, today we're actually just going to do a simple uh, battery build. Uh, it's not really going to be encased. I just want to demonstrate the connectivity, the BMS that I picked out, and do a capacity check um, and see if this would be good for your project. I have a project where I'm going to use uh, 12 of these uh, for a golf cart. And so, but for now, we're just going to build a quick little 12 volt uh, and see what came in um, the box, see how it was packaged. And then, like I said, we're going to do a capacity check. So um, let's get to it. All right. First of all, dimensions. I know you could probably get them off the listing, off the website, but sometimes you just want to see it. Uh, so let's start with the width. Uh, looks to be about six and three fourths. And then let's look at the depth, two and three fourths, pretty close. And then the height, practically right on eight inches. I'll have those dimensions on the screen in both inches and millimeters. Um, and so top of this cell, we've got the positive, we've got the negative, we've got this little green card for protection. we got a QR code and it looks like a little uh, plastic uh, area that if this was to pressurize, that would probably be the release area. Let's take a look at the front sticker. Uh, I have a picture on the screen a little closer so you can see it, but it says product name, lithium ion. I believe this actually is a lithium iron phosphate battery, um, you know, LiPo4 kind of scenario. Uh, the model is LF280K, voltage is 3.2, capacity 280 amp hours, 896 watt hours. Uh, it has a QC pass sticker on it and a CE sticker on it. Uh, battery hookup has said these are, you know, uh, brand new cells. These aren't cycled. These aren't um, uh, been used and re reclaimed. These, these appear to be brand new. Nothing wrong with the uh, protective covering. The terminals look good. And so let's take a look at how they were delivered to me. All right, this is the box that was delivered in. This is a, a set of four. And so I ordered 12 and they came in three boxes just like this. Um, let's open it up. All right, so sitting on the very top is the bus bars. I think they have two listings right now that you can get sets without bus bars and you can get sets with the bus bars. And I believe these are rated for the 280 amps because these can easily do the 1C rating, but you've got your lock nuts or your flange nuts, and then you've got the bus bars, four of them. All right, as you can see, we've got, uh, you know, styrofoam padding kind of stuff here. Let's take a look. All right, so we've got the four cells. They've been wrapped up individually. So I'd say this packaging is really nice. All right, we've got our four cells set up in series here. So in most, gener most setups, you might do it this way, where you've got the positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, and so forth, and create your series. Um, and obviously the bus bars will easily fit that scenario. But something I want to test is what do you want to do it in line? So mathematically, I hope they've engineered this correctly where you can just do this, but we'll find out. No, they did not. All right, so we have learned if you're going to put them in series and use these bus bars, you're probably going to need to do it in this configuration because that's what these bus bars were cut for. So if you want to do something different, you're going to have to come up with a different bus bar scenario. So good to know. I also got these fiber boards. And so what I want to do is go ahead and put all the fiber boards I would put in a four pack. So I'm pretty much going to put one between each cell, put one on the ends, and then I'll take a new measurement. So you can decide if you want to build a battery box or try to find one online that would fit. So let me set that up real quick and we'll make some measurements. All right, we've got them laid out here with our fiber board. We've got one on the ends, and we've got one dividing these cells. These just give it a level of protection that these are not 
combustible and they are uh, non-conductive, so they're insulating. Uh, just a level of protection. They don't add much thickness here, so you should probably be able to just take this um, width here and multiply by four, and you're going to be pretty close. But let's go ahead and make another measurement. And that looks to be like 11 and 7 sixteenths. So that's good. These other dimensions didn't change. Still six and three quarters, and then eight. Pretty much on the spot. All right, so I hope that helps there. Um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and hook up the BMS that I bought that I also got from Battery Hookup, and we'll do you know a quick setup of that. And like I said, this is going to be loose because I'm going to be using this in a bigger pack. So I don't want to create a box yet. I don't want to really make this permanent. But we're going to you know, put the bus bars on, wire it up, and then we'll be able to do a capacity test so you get an idea. Let's work on that now. All right, let's check each cell and then the overall voltage to make sure we're doing good here. So first series here, 3.2928. There it goes, 3.28, and then let's do this series, 3.28, and then the final series here, 3.28, and let's do a final overall check, 13.161817, alright, that's starting to look good, now let's go ahead and wire up the BMS. All right, quick little correction here. Uh, the BMS that I bought for this project, or the bigger project, the go, uh, golf cart, um, obviously I needed a lot of amperage, so I picked up this one. I thought it could do 4S and up, but it can only do 7S and up. So I'm going to have to go through my collection and see if I can't find a 4S uh, BMS real quick, which should be good enough for the testing. We just want to deplete the battery and charge it back up and see what our amp hours are. So let me go find that, and I'll go ahead and wire it up, and we can do the capacity test. All right, we've got a 100 amp BMS hooked up here. I just soldered on some ring terminals uh, for just temporary connectivity and set up the ground wire to the BMS. So let's just do a quick check to make sure the BMS is passing power. So we're on the P minus of the board. And we've got our 12, 13, there we go. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this um, collimeter and set a high amp hour um, and we'll charge it all the way up and then we'll do a discharge so the BMS cuts off and see what capacity we get. All right, uh, time to wrap this up. Uh, before we get to the capacity test, I just wanted to show you on these bus bars that these are oblong holes. And so there is a little bit of slide back and forth. <clears throat> so if you wanna double up your insulation, you do have a little bit of room uh, to space the cells out. Um, again, um, that will change the overall dimensions depending on how far you stretch that, but um, it's still going to be very close. Uh, that's not a mass amount of room, but it does give you some room to, to play with. So now let's look at the capacity. Uh, what I did here is I took um, the cells and I depleted them down uh, and did a low end balance. And so I brought them to like 2.8. And then I charged each one individually to three volts. And that was my, my floor. So I started from there and charged up. So if you notice on the meter there, um, I'm zoom in, um, it says 306 amp hours. So if I reset the, the meter at zero and then charged at, I think it was eight amps because that's all my power supply could do, and got 306, which is well over the advertised 280 on the listing on batteryhookup.com. And so I can say personally that the capacity is well above what's advertised. And um, so that's the video. Um, I hope this is giving you some information. Um, that was the best price I found on anybody carrying these cells on the US side, and especially with the shipping. Um, and they were shipping to South Carolina for me. And so it was a pretty fair rate. I'm not gonna quote anything because it could change and depending on where you're at, it's gonna probably be different. But overall, I'm very happy with the cells. Uh, if you like, I'm going to have a video in the future of using these with uh, uh, with 12 total for a, go a golf cart project to get them up to 36 volts. So um, if you wanna get these, use my discount code. Uh, it'll get you a little bit of discount and it helps out the channel. 
Uh, just a disclaimer, these were not given to me by Better Hookup. I bought these just to let you know that I bought these because I believe they were good um, and they're going to work out for my project. So uh, tune in next time and thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. So have a good one.